Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver. Today is a very exciting day. We're gonna be finally getting this indoor growing setup ready. Uh, I've been waiting quite a while to get special, very special seed. Very cool genetics that I got off of a friend. He also gave me some awesome soil here. This is Promix soil, uh, very good for growing weed. And we also have a nutrient mix here, uh, which is why I've got my mask with me because this stuff is very fine powder, very dusty, and uh, when we're mixing it into our little premix soil here, you don't want to be breathing it in. I'm, I can already feel the, the fertilizer in the air here. Just gonna put that down. But today's video is basically gonna be me showing you guys how to prepare a soil uh, for an indoor grow, and then I'm gonna bring the pot inside. I'm gonna plant the little seed it has been germinated, it's, it's kind of uh, cracked, and now the little tap root is sticking out. Super excited to show you guys. And of course, Mars Hydro sponsored me with the tent and the light. And we've got the whole grow set up, ready to go for this autoflower. So right now we're just gonna start by mixing the soil. So this here is uh, Gaia Green Power Bloom and also uh, All Purpose mixed together. It's a 50-50 mix. We're going to be mixing it in with the Pro Mix, and that is basically going to give us a really awesome soil to start this seed in. And honestly, pe people do this so that all you really have to do is water the plant for the, for the grow period. And with the autoflower here, I don't even know if we'll ever have to add nutrients. We can probably just grow it right from this. I might have to top up a little bit um, like deeper into the grow. But autoflowers, they spike up real fast. I'm going to be gradually mixing little bits of the fertilizer in with the soil as I pour it into this um, five gallon pot here, the fabric pot. And this will be the final home for the, for the plant. And then over here, I've got a little scoop of the same soil, the Pro Mix, I just used this jar, that is not gonna have any fertilizer in it. And I am just gonna, at the end, have a little sort of cup of that, um, just a little area in the center for the seed to go into. I don't really wanna be planting the seed right in this uh, fertilized soil. I just want it to have a bit of a, an easier time growing first, and then once the roots start to really spread, they will start to dip into that fertilized soil. All right, so we're back in the tent here. I've got the soil all mixed up. We've got a 50-50 mix of Gaia Green, Power Bloom, and All Purpose, and I can link those down below the Amazon affiliate link. So we're just pre-moistening the soil here, and we wanna do that because when we plant this seed, if we water it after, we run the risk of kind of watering it out of its little hole. So make sure that's nice and moist. It's very airy soil, so it may look like I'm really soaking it, but I'm just using a mister here. And you just want it to be moist enough so that when you put the seed in there, it's got some water to work with. Here is our seed. So this was germinated, folded between paper towel, just on a, uh, on like a warming tray. That's the seed there. So this is Banana Daddy Autoflower, and that is from Ethos, um, Ethos Genetics. It's great stuff. I've never grown it myself, so I'm very, very excited. Very grateful that my friend was able to give me one of his. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna just pop. I'll zoom in a little here. These yellow things are just for um, like little mites or bugs that come around will get stuck to those instead of fiddling around with the plant, hopefully. There shouldn't be too much of that. Um, if you use worm cast casings, which I actually didn't, uh, this time I was supposed to, I forgot. Um, there can be bugs and stuff mixed in there sometimes, but just, you know, the soil, who knows where the soil's been. I don't want to risk, um, having like a little infestation inside here. I'm using the end of a pen here to poke the hole. And we're talking like, say a quarter inch, like I'm going like halfway up my pinky. Just the smallest little hole there. And the inner, uh, soil is actually, like I'd said before, just base soil. They're, they're just the pro mix. There's no fertilizer right in the center, um, maybe about that that deep down. 
and that's because I don't want this seed to be exposed to a whole bunch of fertilizer while well, it's just a little guy, or little girl, I should say. So we made about a quarter inch deep hole there. My pinky goes like halfway down, and that's fine. It's nice airy soil. I'll give it a little more water. And then we're just gonna plant our seed taproot down, like it looks on the screen right now, basically. I'm gonna see if I can get it to kind of plant in a little, but I'm not gonna force it. I don't wanna break this taproot. Just popping it in there. Perfect. Looking pretty good to me. All right, and then we're just gonna flick some soil very lightly over top. And that's it, that's all we're gonna do. Weed plants are very picky with their roots. They like nice, airy, easy to move around soil. So I'm not gonna pack anything down and I'm certainly not gonna jam that seed down too far because it's not gonna like that. The next step in our grow is gonna be getting the lighting all set up. I've hung the light pretty high here, uh, about as high as it'll go in this tiny tent here. Um, this is about 30 inches. When you are germinating the seed and when it's just a little seedling sticking out of the soil, you don't want the light to be hung too close to it uh, because the plants just simply can't handle that and ambient heat off the light might also damage them. So we keep it and it'll burn. You'll, you'll notice if that starts to happen, the leaves on the plant will uh, kind of burn on the ends, get yellowy. That's not good. So we'll keep it up nice and high, 30 inches there. And then as the plant gets a little bigger, and especially once it starts to flower, we'll lower it accordingly. But I will, uh, I'll show you guys how to do that in later videos. For the light, we've got a timer set up over here. I have it set on the little dial around what time it is now. It's about 8.30, and you can see it's set 24 hour time uh, at about 8.30, and it's running right now. So I'm gonna keep that running basically for the remainder of this grow from this point until I am ready to harvest. Obviously the light is not on yet because I haven't switched it on, but um, for this auto flower, we're gonna be growing it on a schedule of 18 hours of light and then six hours of darkness. Auto flowers grow based on, not on light, but more on time. But obviously light is still important for them to get. So 18, six is pretty good. Some growers will do 24 hours of light and, tw and zero hours of darkness. I don't really want my power bill to be that high and I think that might be a little overkill just for my grow. So we're gonna be doing 18 and six. I'll switch the light on now. And you can see that's pretty bright and we have a dimmer here. And I will show you guys a neat little trick for getting your lighting uh, dialed in. This app is called Lux and it's a, it's a very basic Lux meter. It operates uh, just based on your phone's sensors. May not be the most accurate thing in the world, um, but it's pretty good for what it is. I'm not gonna go into all the nitty gritty of Lux and lighting because honestly, I don't know a whole bunch about it and I don't wanna be spreading any misinformation. So you guys can uh, can look up Lux and different lighting levels based on how intense you're gonna be uh, taking your grow. But basically I'm going to, and there it goes into the dirt. I'll just set it right there. Basically we are gonna be testing the light, the uh, Lux levels from the light and set it to what we think is good. Um, for seedlings, I aim for around 5,000 to 7,000 lux. Now, this isn't really a seedling yet at all. It's still sort of germinating. But I'm gonna turn off the er, room lights here so that we're only working with the light from our grow light here to get a more accurate reading. We can see it's sitting around 3,500 lux. I want right now, honestly, I'm just gonna set it to 4,000. That's a little bit below the seedling measurement but that's okay because there's nothing really coming out of the soil yet. So just adjusting the dimming settings, you can see if I crank it, it'll start to go up and it'll go back down as I lower the brightness. And it's pretty sensitive. So I'm just going to fine tune it. And there we go, that's not bad. We're sitting around, basically around 4,000. So yeah, just keep your soil moist, keep the lighting okay. Um, keep it kind of warm. You don't want the soil to be cold at all because that'll ruin the germination. And that's about it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to support the channel, you can do it for free by subscribing now. If you haven't already, that's really helpful. 
And if you do want to follow along and grow your own and you don't have all the supplies, consider checking out the Amazon affiliate links. It'll give me a little bit of money for something that you're already buying. No pressure. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.